What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in with a quick Destiny 2 Lightfall video. And of course, Season of the Deep has just kicked off. Alongside the new season content, we do get access to a new Lightfall quest, so this doesn't actually require Season of the Deep, but instead requires the Lightfall expansion. And the completion of this quest unlocks a new hand cannon. This is the Apocal Integration, I may be saying that incorrectly, but it's a new curated roll hand cannon. Famously, this hand cannon was previewed on the Lightfall artwork and then was never actually available in the game, but it's now been introduced and it can be unlocked via a new quest. On top of that, completing the quest does grant the new aspects for strength, and so in the video right here, we're going to break down very briefly what is required in order to access it. As always, I hope this one is useful, and if it is, a rating below really does help us out. But otherwise, let's get into it. And so initially, to speak about the reward itself, the Apocal Integration hand cannon right here is an adaptive frame solar hand cannon. It does appear to be a curated roll, so I don't think we can get random rolls of it. And we can see it can roll with small bore as well as ricochet rounds, and then it actually gets two trade options in each slot. So the first slot can have keep away or stats for all. With the second slot, we have a choice of Eye of the Storm or Incandescent. It also gets two origin traits, so it has harmonic resonance and equipping multiple weapons from this set grants the weapon increased reload speed and handling, and also deals increased damage versus Tormentors, Lucent Hive and Guardians in Supers. And additionally, it can get nanotech tracer rockets and landing multiple hits turns your next shot into a homing micro rocket. So a pretty cool unique weapon, and I suppose one of the more unique weapons for the season overall really, as it isn't a reprised or inverted commas reskinned weapon. So a pretty cool one to pick up, but also also, completing this quest will grant access to the new Strand aspect, so I've done it on the Titan and that grants us Fletcher's Storm. But of course there's also one for the Hunter and of course the Warlock. It's worth mentioning, to get access to this quest, you do need to have completed the Unfinished Business quest, which is actually the one that rewards Deterministic Chaos in Lightfall, so it is technically a post-campaign Lightfall quest. And assuming you've done that, when we head to Strider's Gate, we can start the quest Parting the Veil by speaking to Nimbus. And the first section of the quest requires us to defeat Cabal and Neomuna to find Vex tracking data, and we need 10 of them. They drop randomly from Cabal, so I actually decided to head up to Ahimsa Park on Neomuna, which is one of the best locations to get repeated Cabal spawns. Pretty much continuously kill Cabal until you get all of the Vex data required. And then the second step will tell us to acquire data from Maya's Retreat. Now, Mayor's Retreat is the area to the right-hand side of Liming Harbour, so spawn into Liming Harbour and head towards Mayor's Retreat. You can, of course, mark the objective on the map, which is helpful. And once we get there, you'll notice this Vex Spire. Well, there'll be multiple waves of Vex enemies that spawn, so it is essentially a case of defeating all of the Vex enemies. And for each wave that spawns in, we'll be able to kill one of the Harpies that's protecting the Spire. And we simply rinse and repeat until that Spire can be interacted with. Once we've killed all of those enemies, we need to get more data from the exterior of the Akala complex. And looking at the map, this area is actually on the left-hand side of the Neptune map. Once again, we can highlight the objective, so we head to that zone and we basically do the same thing that we did in Maya's Retreat. There'll be the Vex Spire and multiple waves of Vex that spawn in, so kill all of those. And following that, we can head into the new mission, which is called Parting the Veil. So we simply run through the mission and we'll eventually get to a boss section where we need to fight a Tormentor boss, the imprint of Nezarek. I was running this solo and it's not incredibly difficult, but it's slightly challenging I suppose. You'll see in the gameplay right here I was being knocked about a little bit. If you're finding it difficult, I would definitely recommend Grapple Grenade, as we're able to move around the room pretty freely with the grapple points, the same as in the final Callus fight in Lightfall. And you'll probably want some weapons with a little bit of range so that you can use the platforms to your advantage and a precision heavy like a linear fusion rifle is pretty strong against bosses like this as well. After getting that mission done though, we basically return to the Puka Pond, and Osiris gives us a little bit of dialogue, and we're able to get the Apocal Integration hand cannon, as well as that new strand aspect. That pretty much summarizes the quest right there, guys. And so let us know down below if you've completed it, and any thoughts that you have on the new hand cannon. I haven't spent a bunch of time with it just yet. But I thought a quick breakdown on how to get this quest done might be helpful for some of you guys. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll leave some gameplay of the final mission right here and some of the dialogue. And if you want to see more Destiny content, be sure to get subscribed so that I can keep you posted. But otherwise, I appreciate you tuning in and I hope you guys have an awesome day.
Center is defeated and the area is secure. However, the remainder of Dr. Essie's logs are encrypted. She's using an adaptive VEX algorithm to protect them. It will take me several days to break through. Whatever this is, it must be valuable. Guardian, I recommend you check back here later to see what we've uncovered.